everyone welcome everyone to the environment primer series of drishti is my name is pragya in today's insightful episode of environment primer we are going to discuss yet another important animal project the title of our today's discussion is project snow leopard in this discussion we are firstly going to study about the snow leopard then we are also going to analyze what is the project snow leopard then we are also going to see the conservation efforts of the government of india in protecting and conserving the snow leopard species then we are also going to understand the global scenario and lastly we will be seeing some of the questions for your preliminary examination so if i talk about the background of our today's topic recently a meeting has been held for the national national wildlife board wildlife board and in this meeting a report has been submitted by the spai and what is this spai it is the snow leopard population assessment in india that means we have conducted the very first successful population assessment of the snow leopards and if you'll ask me about the numbers so there are currently 718 snow leopards in india and this spai for the works under the wii that is the wildlife institute of india which further is working under the ministry of environment forest and climate change and definitely this is a very significant step towards protection and conservation of the snow leopard species so this report has also highlighted that yes we should have a dedicated cell at wii for the snow leopards and definitely it is a significant step in protection and conservation of the snow leopards so this brings us to the important point of our today's discussion that what exactly is the snow leopard species and what is the protection status of the snow leopards so if i talk about the snow leopard its scientific name is panthera anshia and it is the top predator in the food web so the snow leopard is well known for its ability to adapt to cold mountainous environments and snow leopards act as an indicator of the health of the mountain ecosystem in which they live due to their position as the top predator in the food web as i have mentioned and if you ask me about their protection status in the iucn red list they have been red list they have been mentioned as one rebel appendix 1 of sites they have been mentioned under appendix 1 of sites schedule 1 of wildlife protection act wildlife protection act and they are also protected under cms or the convention on migratory species and they are also protected under various national laws in various range countries moving forward the habitat of snow leopards spans the mountainous regions of 12 countries in asia including afghanistan bhutan china india kazakhstan kyrgyz republic mongolia nepal pakistan russia tajikistan and Uz uzbekistan so basically this kyrgyzstan has already declared snow leopard at, as its national animal so as to protect and conserve the species of snow leopards according to the world wildlife organization this extensive range covers approximately 772 to 104 square miles with china hosting 60% of the habitat but notably 70% of the habitats of snow leopards habitats of snow leopards are unknown we do not have any idea about them and that is why their protection and conservation is so significant in nature okay moving forward in india their geographical range encompasses the western himalayas that is the jammu and kashmir and himachal pradesh 
and the eastern Himalaya such as Uttarakhand, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh. Moving forward, let us analyze the, that what is this project Snow Leopard. So basically this project Snow Leopard is a very ambitious animal project launched by the government of India in the year 2009. And it was launched by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, which is the nodal ministry for implementation of this project. To promote an inclusive, participatory and landscape-based approach to the conservation of snow leopards and their habitat in India. Why landscape-based? Because their habitat lies often beyond the protected areas. And that is why we need a landscape based approach. We need to involve the local community in the protection. Okay. The project's goal is to conserve biodiversity through community involvement because due to the human interference, the human animal conflict is right, uh, rising. That is why we need to involve the local community in the protection. And that is the main goal of Project Snow Lipid. Moving forward, let us analyze the objectives of this ambitious project. So, the first objective is facilitate a landscape level approach to wildlife conservation because the habitats, if, you if we, we talk about the, in the case of snow leopards, as I have mentioned that yes, they lie far beyond the protected areas and that is why you need to follow a landscape based approach. You need to involve the local community in the protection because the India is also known as the land of various uh, culture, heritage etc. And we believe in conserving our natural trees, animals and plants. Okay. Rationalize the existing protected area network and improve the protected area management. Develop a framework for wildlife conservation outside protected areas and promote ecologically responsible development because uh, without legal status, see legal status is already available only for the protected areas and animals and the natural biodiversity which are on the verge of extinction, which are endangered in nature, do not enjoy a legal status beyond the protected area. So that is why there needs to be a framework that has to be developed for their protection outside the protected areas as well. Moving forward, support focused conservation and recovery programs for endangered species such as the snow leopard and its prey species. Promote stronger measures for wildlife protection and law enforcement. So basically what is the problem that we have the laws, we have proper laws in place but law enforcement becomes a challenge and we need to fast track the law enforcement if we are talking about our endangered species. Promote better understanding and management of human wildlife conflicts because they are increasing in India. Moving forward, restore degraded landscape in the high altitude Himalayan and trans Himalayan biogeographic regions so that the degradation of the habitat can be stopped and the snow leopards should not come into the human settlements if they are pro being provided with their natural habitats. Promote a knowledge based approach to conservation and an adaptive framework for wildlife management. The more you will educate and aware the local community, the more protection you will give to the natural biodiversity of that area because the local community is highly dependent on the biodiversity of that area for their livelihood needs. So you need to give them alternative livelihood needs and you need to raise awareness in them about the protection and conservation of the natural biosphere of that area or the biodiversity of that area. Promote local capacity, conservation, education and awareness. So these were some of the objectives of the project Snow Leopard. Moving forward, let us analyze the conservation efforts of the government of India in conserving the species of snow leopards. So, the first conservation effort is Himal Sangrakshak that was launched in the year 2020 by the government of India. And in the year 2019, first national protocol was also launched on snow leopard population assessment 
which has been very useful for monitoring the populations of the snow leopards. Then there is the Secure Himalaya project also. Okay, and the Global Environment Facility or the GEF, United Nations Development Program, UNDP funded the project on conservation of high altitude biodiversity and reducing the dependency of local communities on the natural ecosystem. So, time and again, whenever I teach about Himalayas, I say that yes, we need to secure the Himalayas. Himalayas are not meant for big, big developments. They have a very fragile ecosystem and they cannot sustain those big, big developments. So, secure Himalaya projects also talk about the conservation of the bio wildlife and the natural wildlife in the Himalaya region. Moving forward, Snow leopard is on the list of 21 critically endangered species for the recovery program of the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. In fact, it has been categorized as the flagship species. Flagship species to increase its conservation and protection efforts. Snow Leopard Conservation Breeding Program is undertaken at Padmaja Naidu Himalayan Zoological Park, Darjeeling, West Bengal. And what is the Snow Leopard capital in India? Let me know in the comment box below. For information, it is there in the Union Territory of Ladakh. So, kindly let me know in the comment box below. Moving forward. Let us analyze the global scenario for the conservation of the snow lipid. So, basically, global snow lipid and ecosystem protection, GSLEP program. So, the GSLEP is a high level intergovernmental alliance of all these 12 snow lipid range countries, which we saw when we were discussing the habitat of the snow lipid. It majorly focuses on the need for awareness and understanding of the value of snow leopard for the ecosystem and India is a member since 2013 of this GSLEP program. Moving forward, Living Himalay Network Initiative. So, the Living Himalayas Initiative or the LHI is established as one of the WWF's global initiatives to bring about transformational conservation impact across the three eastern Himalayan countries of Bhutan, India and Nepal. Objectives of the LHI include adapting to the climate change, connecting to habitat and saving iconic species because they are facing degradation of their habitat due to deforestation, due to the involvement of human beings due to the climate change and that is why we are taking various conservation methods, various conservation steps as, uh, in India as well as globally for the protection and conservation of this iconic species before we lose them forever like we lost our dinosaurs and they are only existing in fictional stories. So, these species might face the same fate. So, that is why we need to protect and conserve them. With this, we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion. We have discussed about the snow leopard. We have also seen the protection status of the snow leopard and we have also analyzed the conservation efforts of Indian government as well as the global conservation efforts in the uh, for the species of the snow leopard and we have also analyzed the project snow leopard which is a very ambitious project by the government of India and definitely we have also seen that yes we have conducted the very first scientific exercise of population assessment of the snow leopards. So now we have taken small small steps but uh, still a lot has to be done for the protection and the conservation of the snow leopards or the natural biodiversity because definitely deforestation is a threat. Climate change is also a very huge threat and definitely we need to protect our species from all of these worse impacts. Now, let us discuss some of the questions for your preliminary examination. Before we do so, let me reveal the answer for the previous practice question which I asked. So, the question was with reference to the Indian elephants consider the following statements. Your statement number one was the leader of an elephant group is a female. Your statement number two was the maximum gestation period can be 22 months. Your 
स्टेटमेंट नंबर थ्री वॉज एन एलिफेंट कैन नॉर्मली गो ऑन कॉलविंग टिल द एज ऑफ फोर्टी ईयर्स ओनली एंड योर स्टेटमेंट नंबर फोर वॉज अमंग द स्टेट इन इंडिया द हाइएस्ट एलिफेंट पॉपुलेशन इज इन केरला so which of these statements given above is our correct and this was a pyq which was asked in the year 2020 your options were option a was 1 and 2 only option b was 2 and 4 only option c was 3 only and option d was 1 3 and 4 only so how will you identify the correct answer by elimination method always look out for words like only negative words they can never be the true statements then if you have watched the discussion you might have known that the highest ap elephant population is in karnataka and not in kerala so your correct answer will be option a statement 1 and 2 only and this is how you figure out the answer and if you don't know the answer kindly go and watch that video now let us discuss the practice questions from our today's session so the question is With reference to the snow leopards, consider the following statement. The statement number one is it is listed under Schedule One of the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. Your statement number two is it is the national symbol of Kyrgyzstan. Your statement number three is it is listed as endangered in the IUCN Red List of Species. Which of these statements given above is are correct? The options are option A is one and two only. Option B is two and three only. Option C is one and three only, and option D is one, two, and three. So I am revealing the correct answer of this question, and it will be option A, one and two only, because it is listed as vulnerable and not endangered in the IUCN Red List of Species. Rest two options are correct. Moving forward to another question. So the question is: Consider the following statements. Your statement number one is. Snow leopard population assessment in India (SPAI) is the first ever scientific exercise reporting 728 snow leopards in India. And your statement number two is India is the is a party to the Global Snow Leopard and Ecosystem Protection (GSLEP) program since the year 2015. So, how many of the above statements are incorrect? Kindly pay attention to the question before you try to solve them. The options are: option A is only one, option B is only two, option C is both one and two, and option D is none of the above. So kindly drop the answer in the comment box below, and I'll tell you the answer in the next session. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you like the today's discussion and found it to be helpful. Kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. If you want the PDF of this session, kindly subscribe to the Telegram channel. The link which is given in the description box below. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe, and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.